Imagine a time before money, before wallets and cash registers. How did people trade and acquire the goods they needed? In those early days, the concept of money as we know it today didn't exist. The answer lies in the ancient practice of bartering. Bartering was a system where people exchanged goods and services directly. In a world without a universally accepted medium of exchange, communities relied on direct exchange of goods and services. This meant that every transaction required a mutual need. A farmer, for instance, might trade a bushel of wheat for a blacksmith's handcrafted tools. This direct exchange was simple but effective in small communities. Bartering, however, had its limitations. The system worked well only when both parties had something the other wanted. Finding someone who both possessed what you needed and desired what you had to offer wasn't always easy. This often led to complicated and time-consuming negotiations. This difficulty spurred the need for something more versatile, something that could represent value across different goods and services. Thus, the concept of currency was born. Currency provided a common ground for trade. The earliest forms of currency were often objects with inherent value, things found in nature and readily available. These items were chosen for their durability and ease of transport. Shells, beads, salt, and even livestock. These were among the earliest forms of money. Each of these items had value in their own right and were widely accepted in trade. Livestock, for example, was not only a source of food, but also a measure of wealth and status in many ancient societies. While seemingly simple, these early currencies marked a significant step in human civilization. They allowed for more complex trade and the accumulation of wealth. They laid the foundation for more complex economic systems and facilitated trade on a larger scale. Markets grew, and with them, the need for more sophisticated forms of currency. As human societies evolved, so did their forms of currency. From metal coins to paper money, each innovation brought new possibilities and challenges. Today we have sophisticated monetary systems, including digital currencies that allow for instant transactions across the globe. The journey of money is a testament to human ingenuity and our constant quest for better solutions. The story of currency is intricately woven with the story of human progress, reflecting our values, innovations, and aspirations. It shows how far we've come and hints at the endless possibilities that lie ahead. Before we continue, if you are enjoying this video, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to receive future updates. As human societies grew larger and more complex, the limitations of using basic commodities as currency became increasingly apparent. Transporting large quantities of shells, grain, or livestock was cumbersome and impractical. The need for a more durable, portable, and easily divisible form of currency led to the development of coins. The first coins emerged in the ancient kingdom of Lydia, in present-day Turkey, around the 7th century BC. These early coins were typically made of electrum, a naturally occurring alloy of gold and silver. They were stamped with images and inscriptions that acted as a guarantee of their weight and purity, a crucial factor in establishing trust and value. The invention of coinage revolutionized commerce. Coins were easier to handle, transport, and store than previous forms of currency. They also allowed for more precise pricing of goods and services, fostering greater economic efficiency. The use of coins quickly spread from Lydia to other parts of the world, becoming the dominant form of currency in many ancient civilizations. From the silver drachmas of ancient Greece to the gold dinars of the Islamic Golden Age, coins became symbols of power, wealth, and cultural identity. They facilitated trade across vast empires, fueled economic growth, and played a pivotal role in shaping the course of history. While coins were a major advancement, they weren't without their drawbacks. Coins made from precious metals like gold, silver, and copper were valuable and durable, but they also had significant limitations. Carrying large sums of coins could be heavy and inconvenient, making them a target for theft. The weight and bulkiness of coins posed a significant challenge for merchants and travelers who needed to transport large amounts of money over long distances. As trade routes expanded and the volume of transactions grew, a need for a more portable and easily transferable form of currency emerged. The Silk Road, a network of trade routes connecting the East and West, facilitated the exchange of goods, ideas, and innovations, including new forms of currency. This need paved the way for the introduction of paper money. Unlike coins, paper money was lightweight and could be easily carried in large amounts, making it a revolutionary development in the world of finance. 
The earliest forms of paper money can be traced back to China during the Tang Dynasty in the 7th century. These early banknotes were a response to the growing complexity of trade and the need for a more efficient means of conducting transactions. These early banknotes, often referred to as flying money, were essentially promissory notes issued by merchants and backed by their own reserves of precious metals. This system allowed merchants to issue notes that could be redeemed for a specific amount of metal, providing a secure and convenient way to transfer value. This system helped to alleviate the need to transport heavy strings of copper coins, which were the primary currency at the time. By using paper notes, merchants could avoid the risks and difficulties associated with carrying large quantities of metal coins. The concept of paper money eventually spread westward, carried along the Silk Road by traders and explorers. As these travelers moved between different regions, they introduced the idea of paper currency to new cultures and economies. European merchants, recognizing the advantages of this innovative form of currency, began issuing their own versions of banknotes. These early European banknotes were modeled after the Chinese system and quickly gained acceptance among traders and bankers. These early European banknotes were essentially IOUs issued by banks, redeemable for a certain amount of gold or silver on demand. This system provided a secure and efficient way to conduct transactions, reducing the need to carry large amounts of metal currency. The introduction of paper money marked a significant turning point in the history of finance. It represented a major shift from the use of physical metal coins to a more abstract form of currency, paving the way for modern financial systems. It laid the foundation for modern banking systems, enabling the expansion of credit and facilitating more complex financial transactions. The development of paper money was a crucial step in the evolution of global trade and finance, influencing economic practices for centuries to come. The Printing Press, a game changer for currency. The invention of the printing press by Johannes Gutenberg in the 15th century revolutionized communication, making it possible to mass produce books and spread knowledge far and wide. This technological breakthrough also had a profound impact on the production and circulation of currency. Prior to the printing press, banknotes were painstakingly handwritten, a time-consuming and labor-intensive process. This limited the supply of banknotes and made them susceptible to counterfeiting. The printing press offered a way to produce large quantities of banknotes with greater speed and precision, making them more readily available to the public. The use of the printing press also allowed for the incorporation of more intricate designs and security features on banknotes, making them more difficult to counterfeit. This was a crucial development, as the increased circulation of paper money also led to a rise in attempts to produce fake currency. The mass production of banknotes had a profound impact on economies around the world. It facilitated trade, fueled economic growth, and helped to shape the development of modern financial systems. The printing press, initially intended for disseminating knowledge, had inadvertently revolutionized the way we exchange value. Counterfeiting and security, an ongoing arms race. The history of currency is inextricably linked with the history of counterfeiting. From the earliest days of trade, the value of currency has been both a boon and a target. As soon as humans began using objects of value for trade, there were those who sought to exploit the system for personal gain by creating fake replicas. These early counterfeiters were often ingenious, using whatever materials and methods were available to them. The battle between those who print money and those who seek to forge it has been a constant throughout history, driving innovation on both sides. This ongoing struggle has led to a continuous cycle of advancement and adaptation. Early counterfeiters often relied on simple methods, such as clipping the edges of coins to steal precious metals or using base metals to create fake coins. These methods, while rudimentary, were surprisingly effective and difficult to detect at the time. As currency evolved, so did the techniques of the counterfeiters. The transition from metal coins to paper money marked a significant shift in the methods used by both counterfeiters and those trying to stop them. The introduction of paper money brought with it new challenges and opportunities for forgery. Counterfeiters quickly adapted, finding ways to replicate the intricate designs and features of early banknotes. To combat counterfeiting, authorities have continually developed new security features for currency. These features have become increasingly sophisticated over time, incorporating advanced technology and materials. Watermarks, embedded fibers, and special inks are just some of the measures implemented to make it more difficult to produce fake banknotes. 
Each of these features requires specialized knowledge and equipment to replicate, raising the bar for counterfeiters. The fight against counterfeiting is an ongoing arms race, with each new security measure prompting counterfeiters to devise ever more sophisticated methods of deception. This dynamic has led to a continuous cycle of innovation and counter-innovation. This constant back and forth has driven innovation in printing technology, ink chemistry, and even paper making. The need to stay one step ahead of counterfeiters has spurred significant advancements in these fields. The pursuit of secure currency has led to advancements that have found applications in other fields, such as security printing for passports, identification cards, and sensitive documents. These technologies help protect not just money, but also personal identities and national security. Today, modern banknotes are marvels of technology, featuring holographic elements, micro-printing, and other advanced security features. These innovations make it increasingly difficult for counterfeiters to succeed, but the battle is far from over. As the world becomes more interconnected, the challenge of counterfeiting takes on a global dimension. International cooperation and the sharing of technology and techniques are essential in the fight against this ever-evolving threat. With the rise of digital currencies and electronic payment methods, the landscape of counterfeiting is changing once again. New forms of fraud are emerging, requiring innovative solutions and constant vigilance. The future of counterfeiting and security will likely involve a blend of traditional and digital methods. As technology continues to advance, so too will the strategies used to protect our financial systems and personal information. The ongoing arms race between counterfeiters and those who seek to stop them is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. It is a battle that will continue to shape the future of currency and security for generations to come. The impact of AI on currency printing has been transformative. Advanced AI algorithms enhance security features making counterfeiting nearly impossible. AI also boosts efficiency in production, reducing costs and increasing output. Looking ahead, AI promises even more innovations from real-time fraud detection to personalized currency designs. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to receive future updates.